Hello, 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 how are you? Come in, come in, come in. Um, I'll tell you all my news. I hope you're well. Um, right, I have decided uh, on mature uh, reflection to not move to Switzerland. I still, I will always think fondly of it. And if ever I have to go on a flight again, I will, I will make sure to fly via Zurich, even if I'm going uh, just from Dublin to Stansted. Uh, it will always have a special place in my heart. But I looked into things and there was something funny about the money. I don't know, they were not getting it. They obviously had several decimal points wrong. And I was trying to explain it to them, but they, they just weren't getting it. They were asking extortionate mad sums of money for their, their medieval castles and things. And I don't know, they're obviously a simple people and they just didn't have the head for the finance, you know? So look it, I'm not moving to Switzerland. But I'm happy enough in Ireland, apart from the fact that there's a feckin' heat wave coming. Like, this is worse than the beast from the eight. This is going to be really awful. Um, I mean, I am, I am taking precautionary measures. I, am, I will be uh, shutting the shutters now tonight and I won't be uh, letting the daylight in again until Friday. Um, and I am stockpiling with cold water and, uh, and magnums and things like that and all the cold foods. Um, but it's not good enough. I mean, I don't live in Ireland so I can have heat waves. Uh, if I wanted a heat wave, I would live in Singapore or some other place. Now, you'll be asking about my dress, I, I would imagine. Um, it is by Gani. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? G-A-N-N-I. Gani or Gianni or Gianni? No, there's no I. Gani. Uh, I got it on the cruise. Um, not on the cruise, but in a town on the cruise. I'm just going to ask him, was it Regensburg? It was Regensburg. Regensburg ha uh, had the most beautiful shops. Like really, really lovely stuff. Um, and the shop I went to, this was the cheapest thing they had. They were full of dare things, let me tell you by some brand called Number 21, which was excessively dare. Um, so I've been scribing like a dog this week. I've been working really, really, really hard. And I've said this to you before, before I started scribing books, I used to think that when somebody sat down to write a book, they would start at the beginning and they would scribe their way calmly and easily and smoothly through to the middle and when they got to the middle they would take a little they take it you'd have a glass of fanta or something and then they'd scribe their way to the end and there wouldn't be any jesus is this right and is that person convincing and would that really happen would you say that to him and things like that but in the real lives i've discovered it is very much like that if you are me anyway maybe other writers are better at it um and i i mean i've been through this with other books, I mean, I, I belly ached to all the way through writing the break, didn't I? And and now I'm fairly pleased with how that ended up. And thanking you very much. You you are buying it in, in large numbers and I'm very touched. And also lots of you have been telling me nice things about it on the Twitters and things, and I'm really grateful. But for me, I have to, have to think, I have to, Think long and meditate, that's the word I'm looking for, meditate upon my actions. Um, and so I am meditating upon my actions in this book and it's frustrating because I don't know the right way to go. And that is, it's a worry, but look at, this is all part, this is my job. And, uh, and this is the only way I know how to write a book. Uh, but I'm in that awful, snarly, unrewarding, fearful place with it uh, at the moment and like it'll happen a lot as I as I write it because it happens it's that way with all the books I write but anyway I'm just telling you kind of how it is so I have been putting the hours in and putting the headspace in um, which I have to do anyway you know I do have to lie awake at night thinking yeah but I don't know and is that I am um, no it's not convincing me no and things like that that's how I work and now I'm going to tell you about a good book that I didn't write it is by Lisa Jewell. It is called Someone Is Watching You. Or is it just called? Maybe it's just called Watching You. Watching You. Um, and it is out on the 12th of July. 
And she is a really good writer. And I have always been jealous of her. I've always envied her ability with the sentence. And, uh, and the, uh, you know, she's written a couple of um, psychological thrillers and her plotting is really great. But her characterization is great as well. It's set in Bristol, which I, I really like. It's so nice for a book not to be set in London. Do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, 12th of July. It's really good. It'll be out in hardback. I am not fully awake yet. It's Sunday morning where I am. And uh, I haven't seen my babies in ages because the Reds are doing their feckin', what's that thing, karate on a Friday now. And Teddy and Hannah have been away on their holliers and I get occasional little things of them, little videos of them swimming. Oh, they're so cute. Um, but I'm seeing my Redsers today. We're going to, to go in and see Dad and then we're going to FXBs in Monkstown, except my family being my family, call it JCBs, um, because that's our way. Well, look at now, wrap up cold against the heat wave, have, have bags of frozen peas to hand, and obviously the cooling foods, um, to wit, magnets, uh, hagen dass and other things, Ben and Jerry's, things like that. Uh, what else is cold? Ice. Ice packs. Um, ice packs. Or to, if you're really finding it difficult, you can buy these little things. They're ice packs, but they're for your eyes. Um, you know, if you have puffy eyes or whatever. Oh God, I have to tell you something. I got my eyebrows done. I got the, um, the microblading. Um, come, come and look. You can come closer. You have to get right in. It's, I'm thrilled with them. Can you see? Really see? Look at the detail. Isn't it fantastic? Yes. Eyes. Yes. So I'm very pleased. I'm going back to my other camera now. Right. Uh, hopefully we won't all die in the terrible heat. Try not to die. You try not to die. I'll try not to die. He'll try not to die. And we will see you next Monday. All being well. God willing. If we live that long. If God spares us. Etc.